Sí, Alright, bro, I got my uh, shit ready, so you just let me know when you're ready. Alright. Five seconds. Alright, I'm ready. Yeah. Start recording? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Alright. Hi, once again, M House. We're here with Anenra, Mr. What? Broke what is man. he? Seventh? Yeah, Mr. Broke Man, Mr. Seventh, Mr. Steve Slayer, Mr. Cake Slayer, Mr. Best <laughs> Canadian? Question mark? Question mark, question mark. Question Subjective. Mark, question but, uh, <clears throat> say hi to the people. Hello, how's, how's it going? going? So, Anenra, let's just, you know. Go straight into it. Do you fucking hate Steez and Cake? Are they just like straight up your ops? Like, like you know nah. that man Cake. That man Cake was just doing crazy things. Like he made your face oh, you just can't PSP, like trying to get him caught up. <laughs> no, like, it was just like it was just crazy. Like like, do that, you consider that... them rivals? Yeah, I, mean, I I would consider them friendly rivals. I wouldn't consider them like ops oh. though. Maybe like back in the day, maybe. But now I'm like. I kind of realized, man, we're fucking playing a children's party game for, like, not even really money, just bragging rights. I'm just like, I, I have no reason to be ops. The only person I consider ops are fucking Jab's Connection. That's the only one that's a fucking ops. Crazy. Op. Yeah. God damn. Crazy wait, call. So, out, I have but... a... <laughs> so, how, wait, so how do you feel? Because I think, what is this? This is your second season, so you got ranked back to back. How do you feel about that? Honestly... I felt like I was going to fall off. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was going to fucking fall off like hard. But I, like I kept it up. a lot? No, that's why I thought I was going to fall off. I thought everything else was just going to hit me and be like, oh, everyone's going to catch up. I thought Cake was going to catch up with their ICs a lot, too. Which yeah. they kind of did, actually. They they gave me a little bit of a run for my money on the last tournament we played. and yeah. But thankfully, I just sat there and like adapted a lot so what are your goals for like the next season going into it Oof. hopefully just to i'm not even gonna lie i want to i want to be able to move a little bit more and get people a little bit more confused about my movement and work on my neutral because i feel like that's my biggest flaw at the moment i did him uh, dst wavelands DST Wavelands, his fucking crazy ass uh, <laughs> shield drop shit. That's actually something I really need to learn. Shield dropping, that is yeah. crazy. But yeah, that's my main goal. I don't really have any like, pe like oh, who I want to beat goals. Yeah. Like, like technically, I would like to beat you, but like, like that isn't like <laughs> lag infested, you know. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, but. Other than that, that my main goal is like maybe just being a bigger threat for most, for sure. Is there any thing Reaper? Because I have the uh, like two more. Oh no, no! Um, how big of an impact do you think Kenny had to you uh, towards your success? It's funny because mine was a Kenny question too. Ah. <laughs> uh... That's a good question, actually, because it would be a little bit, yeah, for sure. There's a quite a bit. Um, mentality sake, he's helped me a lot, for sure. Uh, I'd say like learning like certain matchups. Also, I would say he's gotten me more comfortable fighting Falco than anyone but i would also say you you reaper have also helped me like get comfortable in the falco matchup a lot more than others so i would say quite a bit though quite a bit he gave me a lot of notes um he helped i don't think i'd be beating power uh, power hungry if uh, if he didn't help me with that matchup for sure yeah. uh because i kind of was just running in front of a wall so i would say quite a bit yeah What's your current relationship with him, you feel like? With Kenny? Uh, yeah. We're still chill. 
for sure. Uh, he said he wants to teach me Overwatch, and I might take him up on that offer. Ew. All right, let's stick to Melee. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much? Yeah, you know, when do you take the floor? Yeah, how much? Because you're one of the people... I mean, because there's a lot of people in the M House that only play online, but you're one of the people yeah. that plays online and in person. Do you think that gives you, like, an edge over other people that only play online? Offline? Uh, I think if they have a strong region, it definitely gives them an edge, which I thankfully do. I have a lot of fucking nerds in my region that just talk about the game a lot. Uh, but I think it, it definitely could, but, like, if you look at, like, somebody like dst and reaper who specifically play offline right or online sorry uh and look at how they've grown like it it definitely can like if you're strictly stuck online you definitely can make a great impact but i'd say having that in-person knowledge and going and playing on a crt which is definitely different than a monitor it does help for sure so it benefited you a lot specifically it yeah, specifically me. I've learned a lot of weird stuff, like my weird side E shine shit that I got. Yeah. That was specifically an offline thing that I found out. Okay. Would you ever think about, like, picking up, like, because I know you played around, like, Link and Marth and stuff. Have you ever yeah. thought about, like, getting, like, a full time secondary for, like, harder matchups? Dude, I play the best character in the game. I don't fucking need that. <laughs> I, I, I've proven myself that I don't need a, a secondary, but maybe. But I'm not... I don't think, like... I have a weird take. I think Marth is a lot easier than a lot of fucking foxes think it is. Play and, against, or...? Yeah, to play against. Because I, I played against my, like, a top Marth in my region, and FD did not seem that difficult. So, I I think it might just be, like, people got to learn how to play the game a little know. bit more. That's so... going to go on the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, go on. But, yeah, no, I, I definitely don't need a secondary for sure. Would you say, like, like who's your biggest rival? Like, would you say Steez is, like, potentially your biggest rival? I know, Ste like, people low-key you guys a lot, but... Yeah, well, I, I, well, I think it's like it's hard not to put us close to each other because we're like close in skill wise a lot of the time. Uh, I think yeah, Steez is definitely c my biggest rival because like ever since like we started going game fives and like it was back and forth for a little bit. There's only one set that wasn't a game five between us, which was like a three one my favor. But he's definitely still like my like hardest opponent because either it's a sweep in my favor or a sweep in my opponent's favor sometimes and like what's like one of the one of your favorite people to like kind of watch like play like when you're not interested like who's like and they can be like uh, active or non-active like that that you would just want to like you know watch play and do well that's a good question because i really enjoy watching a lot of m house players uh one. yeah that's i can only best. pick one because Shit, I think it might be you, Wendy. Honestly, because hey. <laughs> like I, I don't really know, funny. like it, it's it's a little bit because you play a little bit slower than most people, but like you kind of get in your opponent's head a lot. So I kind of enjoy how, watching like what your opponent reacts to and then how you react back. Yeah, like when you start implementing fade back back air into your gameplay a lot more against <laughs> a lot yeah. more other people i thought that was like the most genius thing i could have seen i was like damn okay and you're consistent with it too so Loki yeah really i think to spam like reactively like just dash oh my god yeah they did something and then especially uh floaties like puff because it beats a lot of their approach options yeah um yeah i would say you're definitely my favorite i'd say if you asked me this like a couple months ago i'd definitely say kenny or codex though codex <laughs> That's yeah, objectively wrong. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I I enjoy watching Codex. Codex was yeah, fun, about, like the like, like Codex, yeah, yeah, like old M House, like pre server M House Codex was a lot of fun to watch. Me, 
Okay, fair enough. You know, he was taking names. So. He was. But, yeah. You know that well. My mindset has changed a lot in the past couple months, so it has definitely been... I've been on the windy train for a little bit. Ooh. Wait, what? Do you have like another question or am I taking it? You got it. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Uh you know, and then right you you know, you've you've been beating Steese and, and Cake and whatnot, and maybe you're starting to feel like, oh, I'm ready for the next level. So, introducing yourself into, like, that conversation of, like, the, the next level, who do you think is the first person to beat to, like, be like, oh, I'm ready? Uh, <laughs> first person to beat to know that I'm, like, in the conversation, I would say definitely, well, DST retired, right? That's no, confirmed? No, it's not, it's not, it's not real. Okay, well, then we'll definitely DST. DST is, like... Because I've been having problems with DST since, like, the old server, and so me beating DST's Falco and not their fucking mess, when... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that would, like, kind of tell myself that I'm ready to, like, really start pushing myself a lot more. Okay. Um... Who do you think would be, like, the easiest of the, you know, upper level to beat, though? Still DSC, or...? Uh, Narfi. If Narfi ever comes back. I mean, you did be Narfi. One that you haven't been. Oh, okay. Um... Weirdly enough, TD. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I feel like I, I can catch TD on some bullshit and get him, like, kind of there, but definitely not consistent. I would definitely get a one piece, but I would say he is definitely one person I know I can beat if I catch him on some bullshit. I got, uh, because we got, like, I think, like, five, six minutes left before we got to do next one. Um, I want to know, I want to, like, what are your thoughts on, like, this, this is, like, a two-parter, so, like, how you think the uh, top level is gonna shape up in like the the uh, the the next season? Cause like Snake seems like he's not entering online. Kenny seems like he's getting back into it. TD and Acebox are kind of in limbo. So like, what do you think is happening with like the top level? And then I'm gonna ask you about the uh, low level after. But I think Item's gonna come back maybe, like fully come back and kind of reclaim his spot. That's like a weird take I have. And number one. Not number one, but like close to it. I think he's definitely if, uh, snakes up playing. If snakes not playing, uh, if or TD's in limbo, because because yeah. TD's definitely still in limbo, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, and then there's also BQ that that guy. BQ. Oh yeah, he's he's really good. And knowing that he's just been beating us with his secondaries, um, and he entered three tournaments, right? Total, Dude. he entered. Two. He entered Broke Man, and then he entered the final the tournament. Last one of the season. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think BQ can definitely take it if he enters more. Um, knowing, because we haven't seen his uh, uh, Captain Falcon. Or no, we he haven't seen Marth. his Marth. Yeah. yeah. Which will be interesting. Um. Oh yeah, Royal's technically not in the question anymore. He either aren't they oh no <laughs> damn went back to league uh i think yeah i think item might come back bq will definitely prove a threat if they're actually willing to enter more uh i think if snake's not entering anymore uh bq will definitely take the number one if if not bq TV. doesn't enter <sighs> both be the, I, the the fox savior for you and steve's <laughs> Fox Savior is. I wouldn't say Dutch. Fox Savior. <laughs> I'd say Ooh. the only reason I wouldn't. The only reason I wouldn't say Fox Savior is because he he's kind of just shown himself to be that Fox since KOC four, yeah. right? Like he's just shown himself to be that way. Or was it KOC five? Right? No, KOC five. Yeah. Yeah. 
KOC 5. He's kind of been that, like, he's just been that guy since KOC 5. If you really want to say, oh, who's the Fox savior since TD was in limbo for, like, the longest time, it would have been Jund. But I would say, I would say, since TD's, like, limbo right now, I want to see how he pulls against Captain Falcon. But our, with how BQ plays against, like, Kenny and everyone else. Yeah. Because Kenny only took one game, right? Uh, didn't take no, he that. didn't take any games. Like, yeah. He got yeah. four <laughs> The four Yeah, sucks. and... Wasn't TD and SR, like, game five? Yeah. I also think Kenny just sucks for his talking, but, okay, uh, we got, like, two more minutes, three more minutes-ish. Yep. Um, so, low level. I know we kind of recently just saw Mega hop into the top ten a little bit, but I'm going to still consider him low level for argument's sake. Like, yeah, for sure. Who you think are, like, because I, I don't think you're in the low level anymore. I think people that say that they're, like, still living in the past. Uh, like, who's, like, the next person that kind of you think is going to, like, quote-unquote break out from from the low level next season and kind of be on, like, that mega level or, like, higher, like, pushing, like, your level, Steve's level? I've been really impressed with how Rascal's been playing recently with their puff. Yeah. They, I feel like they finally found their character. Um, Mega is definitely in the conversation, but... Yeah, we definitely wouldn't consider Cake low level either. Cake is definitely mid level. Uh, because Cake made. I don't know. <laughs> well, if Cake wants to be serious, well, I, I feel consider like Cake... you the 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 uh, cutoff. So if they can't beat you consistently, then I would consider them maybe low level ish kind of. Okay, okay. But he, but, makes I, sense. I, but he could also be the cutoff because I feel like he also silently beats everyone below him. So I don't know. Yeah. Like, like uh, discussion. I would say. I would say definitely Rascal might be that next come up person because I don't really consider Mega in the conversation because Mega is like a hidden boss ish, like is a threat. Yeah. But like is definitely that hidden boss type of like person where one because Mega also lost to Rascal recently, right? Yeah. Yes. Even though he claims it was a fluke, it was a fluke. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I need to see the VOD. Well, yeah, Is it? VODs will drop uh, when they drop. I mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't know, relatively. I mean, all matchups suck about But Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, yeah, does anyone you want to shout out or like things like that? I, I like, I think I want TD to pop the fuck off and tell me that I'm fucking wrong and shit at the game, <laughs> please. <laughs> Uh, because I feel like I've been hating on him, but, uh, no, I, realistically, I just want to shout out my region, Alberta. All right, all That's right. basically it. Yeah. Anybody you want to send hate to? Nah, I already sent hate to Jab's Connection, I'm good. Fair enough. All right, then. Appreciate you, Nenra, for coming Appreciate out, you. taking the time. Yeah, thank you. Viewers, there you have it, Mr. Brokeman, live. Oof.